hi guys i'm kanje and uh i want to talk about my experience with costochondritis so it happened last year it was in october late october there mid october there so what happened i was just moving some furniture from the, some rooms to other rooms i was just rearranging the house so i it was just a normal day or like you arranging the house uh, so what happened uh the next day i couldn't wake up I was so shocked like wow I couldn't wake up it was so painful I was feeling pain all over my body mostly my chest um and some high fever you know and I was like what's happening to me I was so shocked cuz I couldn't move so I tried my best I woke up a little bit but it was so painful excruciating pain mostly uh on on this part on the rib cage so first let me tell you what costochondritis is so because I, I know most of you don't know uh, and have never heard of it. So, as you have seen, costochondritis is an inflammation of the rib cartilage. What happens is that um, it's like there is some swelling type of, uh, there's a type of swelling on the rib cage and it's so painful. So what I did, I just uh, took my normal duties. I, it was on a weekend. So I just, um, and like, uh, like many people do, I went, to, I googled. You know, most people when they are sick, you went, you go to Google, you make Google your doctor. Google is our everything. So I Googled uh, those symptoms. Actually, I was shocked. I was like, wow, am I COVID positive or I was shocked. I was really, really shocked. And what I found out is that um, I didn't know, first of all, that it was costochondritis. So I, I just went to the pharmacy and I took some medicine. I thought it was pneumonia or something I took because uh, I, I have a history of pneumonia in the past. So I went to the chemist and took some medicine and swallowed and came back home and I was feeling good. Those were so the medicine was so strong. So as I was continuing uh, with my business, uh, just relaxing in the house, doing the house chores, um, the pain came back and it was really, really painful. It was like three times of what I was feeling in, um, in the previous day. So it was really painful. I had to go to hospital. First, before I went to hospital, I was just dilly dallying in the house. But I thought, hey, I have to go to the hospital. So the next day, I went to work and uh, I took a, a, a half day leave and I went to hospital. When I went to hospital, guys, I was so, I was so frightened because I thought maybe this is COVID because the signs of costochondritis actually is almost similar to the signs of COVID or a really heart attack, a really painful heart attack. So when I went to hospital, I took a COVID test uh what was it they tell you did i i took they uh, they took an x-ray of my chest they took a blood test and the results were negative so i was like wow what can i do so i went back home and they the doctor actually decided to he wrote a note on the on the in the script on the prescription that i should he thinks it could be costochondritis and i wondered what is it he explained so the next day I went to the hospital where he had referred me and took that test for whether to confirm whether it, uh, it's the inflammation of the rib cartilage and they confirmed and guys that thing is so painful it's really really painful and I felt like I was dying I was weak I was crying if you laugh it's painful you can't move you can't sleep you can't turn you just have to be stiff when you turn it's painful I, I, re I really wouldn't want even my worst enemy to go through that it's so painful so and from the research that I've done, costochondritis is, is actually, I think the moving of the furniture caused it because it actually comes with, if you strain yourself too much, moving of furniture or if you've done a strenuous exercise. So that is what brings about. So guys, that is that. And um, after I took the medicines, the antidepressants that I was given, actually, it's just, I didn't even realize it. It took like... Um, like uh three weeks and it it was over i didn't even realize uh, that it has gone because i was just like i was really praying hard i was i was so scared so guys what i learned from that i actually fear moving uh lifting of very heavy things especially just when you're not doing exercise and you abruptly just start in just start um, lifting of heavy objects so that was my experience so actually costochondritis is treatable you just have to take um you just have to rest to take the medicine the antidepressants and the yeah and you take a lot of rest and it just goes over actually it has been coming back once in a while but not so painful it just ends on its own that's all guys 
my next video i think i'll talk about um tell me what you want me to talk about yeah that's all bye